Well, the anticipation is over, and now the big day is here. It's the final of the UEFA Europa League. I'm Derek Ray, and as always on these big occasions, I'm joined for commentary by the former Arsenal and England defender Stuart Robson. We're on the cusp of kickoff. It is Manchester United taking on Chelsea. Well, Derek, this has everything, doesn't it? Two good teams, some top-class players, and a couple of excellent coaches. What a final this should be. It is the Europa League final, and they are underway. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea begins in goal. Christian Eriksen plays with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And Wout Weghorst is the striker. And here's how it looks for Chelsea. Kepa is the goalkeeper. Kalidou Koulibaly plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Kai Havertz starts with Raheem Sterling out wide. And the lead striker today is Joao Felix. I'm sure, Stuart, the video analysis will have identified Marcus Rashford as one of the main threats they've got to deal with. Well, Derek, his outstanding attribute is his pace. Not just over the first few yards, but over longer distances as well. And that makes him so difficult to play against. Defenders are unsure whether to get tight or drop off. A dynamic player. Sterling. Sterling has it. It's with Cody Bali. Chilwell. Wesley Fofana. Fernandez. Now with James. Havertz. Moving the ball effectively, looking for the right moment. James. And now with Havertz. Sterling. Well, he knew he had to get to the ball, and he did. Anthony. Now with Wechhorst. Diogo Dallo. Anthony. Oh, surely! And a goal for United! The opener in the final! And it could be hugely significant! I think everybody knew what was coming, but he hit it so well, didn't he? Nobody could do anything about it. That's a good goal. So Chelsea get things going again. How will they reply to that setback? Using his strength to shield the ball. A really sumptuous ball. Oh, but brilliantly read to cut it out. It looks so promising. Anthony. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Well, there it is. United haven't had as much of the ball, but they've certainly shown an ability to counter-attack when they win it back. I expect more of the same. I think it's been a really good performance from them so far. Sterling. Joao Felix. Thiago Silva. And a tidy challenge. Well, we've almost reached the halfway mark here. Manchester United on top. Stuart, interested to get your thoughts so far. 
Yes, they've defended really well all over the pitch. Their work rate and discipline has been excellent. But any drop in tempo and this lead could easily slip away. And they know they need to stop him. Their course. Opportunity here. Making sure nothing untoward happened. Superb tackle. Using his physical strength to shield it. Enzo Fernandez. On to James. Excellent defending. Rafael Varan. Now options are plenty. And just one minute of time added on for stoppages. Will he find the net? Great work defensively, but still the chance. And time is up as far as the first half is concerned here in Cornea El Prat. The quest for Europa League success and the second half of this final is underway. Rashford on to Bruno Fernandes Rashford and a goal I'll tell you what they're going to be very hard to catch now name on the trophy maybe well we won't get tired of watching this because the interplay around the box is wonderful and from there he never looked like missing that's a lovely goal now and back underway Enzo Fernandez and with that the attack fizzles out racing forward trying to catch them out Bruno Fernandes can he do it? oh that's a fine save Corner kick played in. Enzo Fernandez. Sterling has it. You know, Chelsea have an awful lot of space. James. Could produce the deficit. He's blocked it. So it's going to be a goal kick here. And United will switch things around personnel-wise. Anthony. Well, a good tackle. What can Chelsea do from this position? And he's made headway. That's great goalkeeping. Well, what a save that is. He was so alert there. Trying to pick out a teammate. Well, able to survive that. It has to be. Still a chance. Anthony. Bruno Fernandes. Casemiro. The ball with Zabitza. Far from a good pass. Sterling. 
And Chelsea moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? A well, fine reading of the situation. Well, as we approach full time in this one, Stuart, no escaping the conclusion that United are bossing this. Yeah, this has been a good performance. They've looked really sharp going forward and they've shown a lot of energy. They'll certainly be pleased with their overall display up to now. And fed forwards. Felix. Opportunity for them to get back into the game. And there it is. Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, let's take another look. And it's not good enough defensively. They're slow to react, don't get tight enough, and don't deal with the situation. And there's the outcome. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? Ten minutes to go. Patient build-up at the moment. And just like that, they don't have the ball anymore. Enzo Fernandez. Or do they have it in them to level this? This could square the game. It's an open question here. Well, this is a very tidy finish, as you can see. He's under so much pressure, but his strength just allows him to hit through the ball cleanly. It's an excellent goal. So the ball is running again at 2 all. Diogo Dallo. The ball with Zabitza. Shaw. Well, three minutes of stoppage time added on here. Manchester United on the front foot in the closing moments. Can they find a winner? The supporters want to see him have a go. Timely intervention. Well, that's it for the 90 minutes, but this is not over. And two 15-minute periods of extra time to come. the ball rolling again here the first period of extra time and you've got to wonder to what extent fatigue will play a part in this now it's been an extremely competitive 90 minutes looking for that final pass looking for the goal that would put them ahead good strength to keep the ball magnificent challenge to win it back Got McTominay. And here is Malassia. Fred. Oh, great attacking play. Well, in the final analysis, it was good defending. Joao Felix. Well, not giving the opposition a look in. That strong play. He's in with a chance. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Scott McTominay. Anthony. Zabica. Dallo. Keeper covered a lot of ground to push that away from danger. And the first period of extra time comes to an end. Still level here.
Well, the second period of extra time commences. What drama do we have in store for us? McTominay. Well, visionary passing. Well, I think it's fair to say he really should have been able to give the keeper a test from there. Mount. Now with James. Koulibaly. And given the situation, a goal at this stage might well turn out to be a winner. And a very good challenge. Malassia. More than decent this from United. Fred. Opportunity. Oh, a goal! Late drama here. And surely that's one hand on the trophy. So little time left for a response now. Well, here's the replay, and just look at that power. That's almost unstoppable. That's a great strike. the dying embers will it prove decisive here the onus is on Chelsea to be positive with time running out and Kai Havertz spot on with that tackle And there's the whistle. This UEFA Europa League final has been decided. And my goodness, they deserve it. Disappointment on one side, but sheer jubilation on the other. Well, relief and joy, I would say. What a great achievement this is, and so well deserved, as you mentioned. They were excellent tonight. What a good performance that was. The party can certainly start now. That's a party to last throughout the year, I should think. They're very happy to be celebrating good times in the Europa League. And now the trophy awaits them. Well, these are always great moments for any player. This is the culmination of a great tournament they've had. They fully deserve this victory. Every player played his part tonight. This is what they've wanted. Now it's in their possession. The winners of the UEFA Europa League. Well, wonderful.